Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, we're going to go finish up this final round in this career battle challenge. As you can see, we're way back in 25th. So let's get well, it on. Let's try to make up a gap here. Par 412, where players no doubt were thinking about making birdie. Here, it's a different story. Why? It is. Well, 13 is always going to be unlucky for some. Uh, there's so much water down there on that left side. And the way it sort of laps up to the wooden bulkhead, it looks anything other than a straight shot. And, and this is where you have to mentally move the flag. You've got to push that flag Boom. in your mind's eye to the right side of the green and say, I do not want to go left of that. Man, he's a fast well, It was almost greens. like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Okay, good shot on the dance floor. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the reed. I'll take pars any day. Keep the round going, those par putts. Now another short par four. It's only 389 yards, but Frank, where could a player go off course, so to speak, at this 14th? Well, this is a hole where you have to play your own game. Um, if you're a longer hitter, I think you can challenge that bunker and knock it over there. And if you're shorter, shorter player, you should be only looking at that left side. Um, you're always going to feel like you've left something out there on a hole like this. You always think you could have done the other option. But, but this is where you've got to stick to what you think is your game plan. Now the approach shot here at 14. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. A rather nice shot, I would say. Can't All right, hide this is a chance for birdie. From that man. And this will be a five foot putt here. And with that birdie, moving into the top 20 on the leaderboard. Let's see if we can get it within the top 10, guys. Now at the 15th, par 4, 468 yards. It is nicknamed Turning Home as we are making our way towards the close of this round. Ah, uh, nice. Looks good. Any They'll golfer that cracked the top ten the is doing good. Now a good chance to attack this hole. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Beautiful shot, lands within five feet of the cup. Frankie's going for two birdies in a row. If he can knock this one in, then that's certainly going to help the confidence. Starting to play some good golf with that birdie move. All right, we're in 11th place, tournament. man. We can birdie this next hole. We can make Frank, the top this could 10. could be an exciting and pivotal point in the round, the par 5 16th. 
especially if the player decides to have a go here. Um, if you're going to take it on a direct line, then you've got to carry all of that bunker complex. But then the other thing to realise, what's the worst thing that can happen? Just in the bunker, right? It's worth a go. Either that, hit it down the right side. There's no way you're going to reach this par 5 and 2. Frank, one of our colleagues at Golf Channel, Brian Hammonds, always liked to say, keep it in the short grass. It is nice to play from the fairway. The game's so much easier from the fairway. Uh, less decisions to be made. You don't have to worry about a flyer or the lip in front of the bunker or a tree. The game almost appears straightforward from that. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Third shot, looking for a good one. Ah, oh, we pulled it! What? Miss hit, wrong club. What happened there, Frank? All the above, maybe. It's a little bit of a head stretcher. It wasn't that hard a shot. Slight waggle, relaxed arms, ready to go. Frank, this is just a pleasure to watch. A player hitting on all cylinders at the top of his game. Notice it's just flowing, too. There's not a lot of deep analysis going through his mind. Just one step in front of the other. If your swing's there, you don't have to find it. If your putting stroke's there, you don't have to find it. Just let it happen. Pretty good shot right there and getting ready for the putt. It's got a nice little hook to it. I don't want to overrun the hole either. Good work right there. He'll settle for par. Well, we've arrived at Alcatraz, the signature hole here at PGA West. Not just a player, but an artist. Just beautiful work right there. The only thing I can say, Rich, is that was Sevi-esque. Yes! Moves into the top We're in ninth, baby. Bird. One great hole after another here at PGA West. The finishing hole, no exception. Frank, what can we expect here? Great finishing hole. Uh, it's amazing. If you took the three bunkers uh, we're first going to see down the right side, this would almost be a nothing hole. But because they're perfectly situated here, they really shrink up that driving area down the left side. And this is just a reward for uh, a great swing, a great strike, a great shot. Frank, this approach shot seems pretty straightforward. Just don't hit it left. Yeah, it's 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 a tough second shot. It's that visual. Once again, you've got that green that's angled to the left. But once again, like a few holes out here, you do not have to hit directly at this flag. You are allowed to move that flag mentally 15, even 20 feet to the right. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's see if that winner bring it back, though. See a little bit off balance on the tee, and that one is going to be in the rough. Pretty good result right there. Right about that kind of thing. It looked rough all the way. Exactly. Rich. Really did. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. Am I 
It might be too much, huh? But it's turning pretty fast, though. Yes! This is a pretty good performance right here. Six under for the tournament. That'll all put a right. wrap it's on not our bad final showing. round coverage for all of us at It's not a bad Sports. showing. I'm Rich Lerner. We'll see you next time. We made the top ten, baby. We got a minus six in the tournament. So this last round, we made a move. We can't win them all, guys, but I tell you what. We made a good showing. We made a good showing. We came in seventh, baby. That's a good showing in a tournament, man. That's not bad. We make the top ten. All right, pay me, baby. It's paying the golfers. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, final round. I hope you enjoyed the video. All right. Up. Oh, that's the updated FedEx standings. The FedEx Cup standings. All right, for the first time in his career, Hollywood Sports finished in the top 10 of a PGA Tour event when he placed 7th at the Career Builder Challenge at PGA West TPC Stadium. Of course, this past weekend, Sports carded a minus 4 under 68 in the final round to cap off his best performance on the PGA Tour thus far. We can't complain about that, guys. Now, let's look at the Ricky Spotlight. EA Sports recently caught up with uh, rookie Hollywood Sports for a rookie spotlight. When asked what goals he has set for himself this year, Sports replied, the most important thing for me right now is to continue to work on my game and improve. Ultimately, I want to build a legacy in golf, but right now I'm just focused on getting better. All right, guys, the upcoming event is the Buy Aware Classic. I hope you guys will be around for that video when it pops out, guys, but we're getting better. We are a tour pro. We are a tour pro, guys, and we're getting better. So, again, stay tuned for the BioWare Classic, and as always, hopefully, I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.